Workflows with Shep. Welcome to another Workflows with Shep. In this one, we'll be having a look at web map services for Trimble Access. They've been available uh, for almost a couple of years now, but just to make it a little bit easier, wanted to go through how to configure these within some of the Australian states and provide some links to configurations as well. In Trimble Access, I've set up my project to run through for this. And I've also set up a number of example to uh, Trimble Access jobs as well. So what we'll do, we'll jump into the Melbourne data set and have a look here at how some of this works. So I've keyed in a location within the job. If I go to my layers and my layer manager, you'll see that there's a number of web map services that are listed here. So these are slightly different to the normal background files. They're not just added in as our standard file. What we do is we go initially to WMS and if we didn't have anything to work from, we'd be hitting new, giving it a name, and then putting in a URL of a web map service provider. Now, these can be tricky to find. So what I've done is gone through and figured out some web map service providers for some of the states in Australia. So let's have a look. Just escape that. So this one is the Victoria Vic map. And as you'll see there, I've got truncated list written into it. So check the link down below for Vic map um, truncated list, there's also a VicMap full list just for your benefit so that you can see what's in the full listing as well. What these do when you create them and you define this within Trimble Access is they create a web map service file. Now, I've placed on here, I'll just shrink that down so that you can see it. So they build out these little files. They're just text files and you can easily edit them as well. So, sometimes web map services won't provide the projections in an EPSG code that we want. Even if they are providing it, they don't provide it when we give a ping and hit test. So, in the instance of that, you need to edit the text file. All of the text files that I've provided for Victoria, Tasmania, New South Wales and Queensland all have zones 54, 55 and 56 so that they should have coverage and you'll see them available in the drop down list once you know what the corresponding EPSG code is for them. Ban and changes. Okay, so looking at this, how do we use them? I'll turn all of these off for a second and just zoom out a little bit. You can see here, even in the truncated list, I've retained quite a few of the layers that are available. So normally I don't turn on all of these because it is a web map service. So it is coming from the web and streaming in and just temporarily caching onto your um, controller. So what I tend to do is to add in things that are going to be useful to me. So let's say easement, parcel map polygons and annotation. And now that starts to tile in and we see it updating on the map. If I zoom out, it will have to retile. So it will take a little minute for it to retile and we'll see that coming through and updating. Really beneficial if you haven't done any data prep and brought in the cadastral map days, for instance. Now you wouldn't normally be loading something quite to that extent. We'd be zoomed in here and looking at individual parcels around. So you do either need to have your GPS on or to have some points in the file so it knows where to start streaming the data to. If we switch the, all of the layers on, especially with the original untruncated list, then you won't see any data. It will take too long for it to load because there's too many layers being loaded. And it might also be overlapping. If there's anything that's a problematic layer, and it overlaps and sits on top of the others, it causes a problem. 
We'll have a look at some of the other files where we can see how this works. So I'm just going to jump back to my jobs and for instance, go and have a look at the New South Wales job. Web map services are delivered in different ways. So as I said earlier, I've created a truncated list for Victoria because they provide all of their layers in one list. Whereas if I have a look at New South Wales and expand this, for the New South Wales base map, I only have one layer. If I switch that off and go to Cadastra instead, it provides, again, just a small amount of layers. So depending on what you get um, from the service, it will populate a different set of layers. Now, if I put on base map at the same time, what we see is the cadaster starts to load in and tile. And then once that streams, it will start to load in the base map and it begins to overlap and obscure the cadaster. So they're not overlaying correctly. So what do we do about that? Okay, let's have a look at Queensland where we can see how to manage overlapping layers. So here I've got some web map services that are streaming in from uh, the Queensland Globe service. I've only put on the easements and the base parcels and that works quite well. Now if I wanted to add an additional layering of the roads and switch all of these on, we can see that they tile in and then we also get the parcels tiling in but they're not obscuring each other. So the way to manage that if we have a look here, we'll go to web map service down the bottom in the rib, the tray again. And you can see that for these, I've requested transparent PNGs. So they're coming through with a transparency. The transparency is not set particularly. Um, and then for the Queensland roads, I've also said that I want transparencies so you don't have to have both as transparent, but then I've told it that I want this to be the base layer. So effectively I'm pushing it down in its uh, display profile, like a send to back command when you're managing multiple objects. So with that in place, it means that I can have two separate services and be able to manage them in a way that they don't overlap one another. Now, I've posted some links just down below this and what you'll find is that they provide the files that need to be dropped into Trimble Access. So when you click them and download them, what you'll need to do is open up Trimble Access, go to Job Data and File Explorer. Now, this will take you through to your projects, but if you go up a folder and into System Files, What you'll find is that you can come down into here, separate by type, and drop them in here. Now I described earlier that they are just a text file, so having a look here, open with notepad, they are very simple. So the URL that was defined inside of Trimble Access, the current EPSG that's being used inside of Trimble Access, any other EPSG codes that it supports from that service, and then the layers. So if you do want to truncate your own listing, for instance, if I didn't want to see all of these layers, I just wanted to have the easement coming in there. I can modify this, choose to save it, close, close that as well. And now if I come back to my Melbourne job, select layers and big map, you'll see that I only have one now. Really straightforward if you want to truncate them, change them up, do whatever you need to, to make them versatile for your application. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Hopefully the links are useful and go configure your web map services.